Rockstar Games has suffered another massive leak. Now, yes, I will discuss what we saw in this leak and all of the new info we've gathered, but as with all leaks, I think we should be conscious that this is not info that was legally obtained. People have broken the law to get this information, and all of the info I'm going to talk about here is essentially development stuff. We're going to be talking about a work in progress, things that were never actually finished. So we can't be negative about this because we just don't know what's going on behind the scenes at Rockstar, and if anyone at Rockstar games is watching this i hope you're having an awesome christmas and while you know it's cool that we have this info it sucks that it was obtained this way okay so what happened well essentially the entire source code for gta 5 was leaked i'll talk about what that means in a second because we got a lot of new info but we also got some info on games that were never actually finished by rockstar things like bully 2 a game called agent and a lot more so we're gonna break it down cover what we know and again wishing everyone at rockstar the best because this is just not the thing you want to happen on Christmas Day. So first things first, how did this leak happen? Well, this is actually from the September 2022 leaks when the GTA 6 clips got leaked. So if you remember back to last year when all of those leaked development footage clips of GTA 6 were circulating the internet, yeah, well the hacker that obtained that information also obtained the source code for GTA 5. Now this is very bad for a number of reasons. Mainly, it gives cheaters a lot more information in order to create hacks and mods for the game but this isn't actually as bad as it seems the main reason is this leaked source code was actually around since september 2022 most cheat makers and mod makers have actually had this info for a pretty long time now so from my understanding it shouldn't affect modding or anything to do with gta online too much but what has happened now is the people who had the source code have kind of gone around bragging about it and are now spreading it publicly. So this info that was only held by a few people for the past year and a bit is now public, or at least a lot more public than it was before. So what did we learn from this leak? Well, first we learned here from Moore's Mutual on Twitter, shout out to you for finding this. We learned of a bunch of cancelled single player DLCs. So yes, it seems like Rockstar did initially plan for us to have eight single player DLCs, or up to eight. Now I say it appears this way because we don't actually know. All we can see are files. We don't know what Rockstar's real plans were. So again, do not go and send any hate towards Rockstar. We don't know what their plans are or were. But the DLCs are, as you can see on your screen here, Manhunt, Norman, Relationship, Enterprise, Prologue, Assassination, Agent Trevor, and Liberty City. Now these are all just code names, so we don't really know what these DLCs would have entailed. We can get a very rough idea just by looking at the names but really I don't want to speculate too much on it use your imagination you can imagine what you think these DLCs would have been here you can see synth potato tried to sort of break it down a bit agent Trevor became the doomsday heist apparently prologue DLC was meant to be a North Yankton expansion and Liberty City well, yeah, we can assume that was probably meant to bring Liberty City to GTA 5. But again, this isn't confirmed. This is just speculation and people trying to read between the lines. Now, legally, I don't know if I can show any of the code, so I'm not going to show any of the code here. But we also learned that Bully 2 is or was real. Not sure if it's been completely cancelled, but it at least was real at some point. And that there was a very early build that was playable. We also learned that Project Americas was indeed the code name for GTA 6. That that's been speculated for a long time, but now we have absolute confirmation that Project Americas was the code name for GTA 6 for some period of time. And that's pretty much all, at least most of us who aren't too familiar with game coding can decipher from all of this. And honestly, man, this sucks for Rockstar. If you aren't up to date with gaming news, Insomniac Games, the developers of Ratchet and Clank and Spider-Man, they also suffered a massive hack just a week ago. And it's really unfortunate that this thing is becoming more and more common. Not that there's much, any of us can do about it we're not the ones going around hacking all of this information but it would just be nice if people could leave rockstar and the other devs alone and just let them cook on gta 6 i don't know about you but personally i don't want rockstar having any distractions or anything that could cause a delay to the game not that i think this would but you know just let them do their thing man leave them alone gta 6 will be here soon we don't need leaks oh and by the way don't go believing anyone who says any big gta 6 info was revealed in this leak it was not. I've already seen some clickbait out there, people claiming that the GTA 6 map was leaked and all of this stuff. No, no real GTA 6 info was leaked here. This was all stuff about GTA 5 and Bully 2. So anyway, we'll wrap it up there. 
Just leave the game devs alone, man. Let them cook. Let them do their job. Wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Boys. Find me on the mountaintop. Need no calculator. I can